All right, guys, this video is going to be just a little bit different. This is this video is going to be all of the highlights from a live stream that I did on Twitch where I tried to cook a Thanksgiving meal inside of a microwave. So if you are not following me over on Twitch, you are missing out on things like this. I've been going live two to three times a week. If you want to follow me, there is a link in the description for that. So let's get into it. Oh, I should probably post on YouTube that we're doing this. This is going to go on YouTube, so and your chats will be on YouTube, so behave. Basic. We're not doing anything extravagant. This is just basic Thanksgiving food. Am I really going to stuff? No, I'm not going to stuff the bird. No, there's no cranberry sauce. Who eats cranberry sauce? All right, let's start. Uh... Okay, let's just go over what we have. So first we have, we have stuffing because we need that. We have macaroni and cheese, we have corn, we have sweet Hawaiian rolls, Hawaiian style recipe, we have some potatoes, we have two different types of gravy because I don't know anything about gravy. This is, we have brown gravy that I assume is some type of powder. And we have Heinz home style gravy roasted turkey. Whatever that means. You wonder if the microwave is going to make it crap out? The internet? Hopefully not. So we got that. And then we have the turkey. That is I don't know how many pounds this is. It's got, I don't know why there's this much liquid in here. Do you guys hear that? I wouldn't imagine that a turkey would have that much liquid. Forbidden turkey juice. <laughs> this is the forbidden, what, what, what do you guys want to start? Yes, I'm going to eat it. That's why I'm making it. Well, if it comes out good, I'll eat it. You can microwave a turkey. You can microwave anything that you set your mind to. Anything that your heart desires that you can put in this microwave, you can microwave. All right, where do you want to start? Stuffing, macaroni and cheese, potatoes. Where are we starting? Somebody tell me. Or I guess corn. Gravy. Is that what you're supposed to start with? Like if you cook normal, is that what you're supposed to start with? Is it gravy? Let's start with let's let's start with mac and cheese first. Let's do that. Oh, you know what I didn't get? I don't have a single fork or spoon or anything out here. Uh I don't think I brought any of those out here. Let me get a, some forks and spoons. Do not put metal in the microwave. I do what I want. <laughs> why, is, why is a grown man, am I watching another grown man make Thanksgiving in a microwave? Because it's gonna be interesting, that's why. Six cups of water, four tablespoons of margarine. I don't have that. Half a cup of milk. I don't have milk. Um, <laughs> I do have water, though. You don't need butter and milk and all that stuff. I have almond milk. Does that work? This is 2% milk. This is going to be a disaster. Yeah, probably. Just butter will be fine. Okay, I do have butter. I think. I have sweet cream butter, unsalted. Does that work? Hmm. I wonder when this stuff expired.
How long does butter have to be expired before butter is bad? Because it says it's best to buy 72621. If it doesn't smell bad, you're fine. Hmm. What would it smell like if it was bad? It smells good to me. It smells like regular butter. You guys probably want this camera, don't you? Let's go. I'm not going to be able to... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that much. Maybe that much? Because it's just going to boil over. How long should I put this in the microwave for? Because it's got to boil, right? All right. Let's go. Wattage, this is 900 watts. Oh, that's a, that's a question I have. Is there a way, if this is 900 watts, obviously I need to cook the turkey slower. Is there a way to slow it down? Okay, you guys said five minutes. Let's see if this microwave is gonna screw anything up. I feel like the paper plate isn't gonna work out here. Listen, the paper plate is gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be great. Don't worry about the paper plate. No, I'm not married. No, I don't have a wife to cook. I do all the cooking. 10 minutes per pound of turkey in the microwave? All right. Let's see what we got here. Very hot water. Oh, these noodles are still, these aren't cooked. These aren't cooked at all. Oh, we need another three minutes or something. USDA suggests one pound of turkey per person. I agree with that. I don't see any directions for a microwave. Oh, now that looks more, uh, that looks more better. Maybe we need to go just a little, just a touch more. Pour a little more water in there. I tried to tell you that you couldn't microwave a turkey. Listen, you can microwave a turkey. I'm gonna prove it to you. That's what we're gonna do. Does that look done? Oh, let me. Let me zoom you in so you can get a good look. That look done to you? I just want, I want to try just one of these noodles to see if it's... Oh, that's dumb. That's 100% dumb. So let's go... Two... tablespoons of butter and then I guess we'll put like half of this packet in here that does look like a lot of butter but it's I mean we use like half the box and that's half the amount of butter it says so I guess we're good do we go potatoes or do we go stuffing yeah, I think those are our only options. Stuffing? Sounds good to me. Directions. Safety first. Cook thoroughly before consuming. Bring one and a half cups water and quarter cup margarine or butter to boil in medium saucepan. Stir in stuffing mix, cover, remove from heat, let stand five minutes. Fluff with fork. Okay, 
Let's go. Let's go one tablespoon. Doesn't that look appetizing? Uh, that looks good. My only rival is that of Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay is not even going to be able to touch this meal. This stuff smells good. What do you think, that much? Now this is good soup. Hey, maybe I will open my own restaurant. You never know. Let's try this mac and cheese, see what this tastes like. That tastes really good, honestly. That's good. We don't need that anymore. Now we got potatoes. What, um, what am I doing with these potatoes? I can't really make mashed potatoes, can I? I have the uh, the potato bag. Yeah, you can make boiling water in the microwave. Should I put it? Should I just put them in this bag, or what? Let's take two of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys can't even see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That good? Four minutes. Yeah. Very nice. I know. I'm a professional. I'm going to be opening a restaurant soon. It's going to be a virtual restaurant. I'm going to cook everything here on stream, and then I'm going to mail it to you. Want to take a look at this? Ooh. Look at that. I eyeballed the perfect amount of that, of the stuffing to water ratio. No measuring cups, nothing. Look how perfect that is. I'm an underrated chef. Now, how do I know if they're done? I guess I could cut them in half. <laughs> I don't. I, <laughs> that sound didn't sound very done to me. Looks like, looks like that is uncooked. Yeah, I think these are going back in the microwave. I mean, these were a couple of pretty big potatoes. What's my favorite motorcycle I've owned? Um, I don't know. I've, I've had, I had a Honda Shadow 600, and then I had a Suzuki Boulevard that I think was like an 1800, 
And then now I have a uh, Enduro that is a 250. The Honda uh, Shadow was a little bit <clears throat> too small and a little bit too underpowered. The Suzuki Boulevard was had the right amount of power, but it was too big. It was like riding a boat. And then the Enduro is, is fun, but it's underpowered. That still doesn't feel done. That felt like I was stabbing a raw potato. That feels better. Oh yeah, these, that's done for sure. So now the question, what do we do with those? I'm assuming we should probably go with this roasted turkey gravy, right? So my instinct tells me to go with this, because this has a picture of turkey. Oh, the corn. We need to do the corn. I need, uh, I need another bowl for the corn. I do not have a can opener. So, we're gonna have to do something else. Oh, I can do that to get the, get the juice out. No, I'm not drinking the corn water. I think we should be able to just... Yeah, actually, I'll go this way. There we go. Now, let's go like, I don't know what's up with you guys in cranberry sauce. I think cranberry sauce is disgusting. All right, time for the turkey. Um, let me get my juice bucket over here. What do you mean, no? No what? What do you mean, don't drain it? What am I supposed to do with it? All right, let's transfer this. Wait a minute. There's bones in here. Hmm. Now what? <laughs> Put it on your head for a few minutes first. The people said to patch you dry. There's nothing in there. We have Flavor God Everything Spicy. That good? All right, now how long? Now listen here, microwave. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to cooperate with me. Listen. Cooperate. Frozen dinner, reheat, clock, time cook, kitchen timer, time defrost, weight defrost, all oh, power level. We'll start off with 30 minutes. Okay, 
Here's my plan. While this is going on, let's mash some potatoes. Should we use a sledgehammer? Jabber Jack, thank you. Aw, oh, man. Actually, let's uh, clean off the sledgehammer a little bit. It's got some, it's got some schmutz. What do I have to clean off a sledgehammer? I mean, potato masher, not sledgehammer, potato masher. This way, we don't have to waste time cleaning. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All right. Wow, that makes light work of these potatoes. Yep, just like grandma would do. This is how my grandma made mashed potatoes. Oh, look at that. They're a little, they're a little coarse. Oh. Oh. Just gotta be quick. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to cut a piece off. And we can use the ruler. This way we can measure while we cut. It's a stainless steel ruler. I don't think there's anything that would be on here that would be harmful. Let's, uh, that actually doesn't look all that raw, to be honest with you. Oh, I forgot. Um, I'm cutting in inches, because I'm an American. Oh, there's like bone everywhere. So you can see this ruler got pretty sharp. I mean, that's good. We'll, we'll go with three, three pieces for now. Three slices. Well, this is how we're looking so far. There we go. Oh yeah, that's done, 100%. There's our mashed potatoes. <laughs> what do I want to try first? Let's go for some turkey. Why, why would I get sick after eating this? It's all, it's all good. Turkey's a, it's a little bit rubbery. It's a little rubbery. It's not the best. It's definitely not the worst. 
That, that is the real honest opinion on the turkey. It's a little rubbery. It's not horrible. But it is rubbery. It's kind of like what it's kind of like what you would expect from a microwave turkey. That patient's pretty hard. I think it's overcooked a little bit, honestly. Yeah, I think it's a little overcooked. Let's check out these potatoes. What's going on here? Over here in potato land. Potatoes are good. <laughs> Next time you see him, he's gonna have an extra head with a full grown beard. Corn. Corn's good. I can taste the sledge. Whenever you taste the potatoes, you, you taste the, uh, the passion that went into them and the hard work and the dedication from the sledgehammer. Turbo Pocky, what's an expiration date? Some like gravy on the stuffing. That, that stuffing is good. If your head says in, what's your net worth? How much, how much would you be? Hmm, let me just, uh, let me just say the number out loud. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Verdict on the gravy, the gravy's good. That potato's not as cooked as you would think. Hundred and three people watching a guy eat in his garage a meal cooked in the microwave. We love to see it. We love to see it. What am I gonna do Thanksgiving Day? I'm gonna rewatch this video and eat turkey and rice. Yeah, you can microwave a turkey. You can smash potatoes with a sledgehammer. You can do whatever you want. There's nobody stopping you. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be on YouTube, for sure. All right, it's been like three hours. I think we're gonna go ahead and end it here. We cooked the whole Thanksgiving meal in a microwave. Um, turned out fantastic. And, uh, yeah. Did I ever think I'd get this far on YouTube? Not in, uh, never. It surprises me every day. I thought maybe I would get to, like, maybe 10,000 subs at, like, my peak. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Everyone say bye to YouTube.